right, guys, we're back. Top 10 pass rushers, welcome in. Thank you for joining me in this. Up next, we have a wide receiver tier list. And after that, we have a top 10 running back. So stay tuned for that. Let's get started at number 10. Straight to the point, so hit the like button because I didn't waste your time. Number 10 is going to be Nolan Smith Jr. How is he so low? Well, he doesn't really hit a good threshold for the power move. His strength is bad and his traits are not the best. So that being said, this card uh, doesn't give me no special abilities that's going to separate him from other people. He's going to be overpriced, but I rate these players as if they're the same price because I'm trying to give you the best player, not the best value. So let's keep it moving to the next one. Up next is Gary, and you know what he's due today as well. He has better strength, speed, and his cell is nice. And at least he does hit that lower threshold of an 85 and a 90. I know they're swapped, but however, hitting at least at least some type of thresholds do matter. His traits are not the best, is why he's not higher on the list. And no, there's no abilities that's going to make this card even better. Please do not put edge threat on him. You're just going to be wasting your AP. Up next, we do have Howie, guys. 90 strength, 90 power move. What I like about this card is... Yes, his traits match what he needs to do. So, he does have the pass rush, bull rush move, and not the spin or swim, which is fine because he can't really do that very well. So, having a little finesse move, at least he's going to do the right things. And I will say that his block shed is nice. I know it's against the run, but I do want to include that. No outsiders is going to be at a discount. Now, with that being said, don't put any of his abilities on him. It doesn't help. Interior threat, edge threat, all that. Please save your AP. Up next is Leonard Floyd, and this guy can fly. He has bad strength. He has good finesse. He doesn't have the best uh, traits. I wish he threw hit sticks because he's a linebacker, but he does not. But besides that, his traits are pretty good. I will say that having this guy right now on your team is going to be a plus, but he doesn't get anything crazy for his ability so keep that in mind uh there's no me no abilities to hype up on anybody but i believe that low strength and the bad power move holds this card back because he has a bad power move but yet he still throws the power miles garrett is here and man i tell you what this guy plays better than his stats 90 strength 90 power move at least the 85 finesse at least he's some type of thresholds his traits are pretty nice, and I will say what helps this card stay above others is his X Factor, okay? The Unstoppable Force is okay, and yes, it's hard to activate, but it does give him a little bit higher of a ceiling that this Miles Garrett is still a usable card. Even against the run, 90 block shit is going to be nice. That's the highest threshold. So, Michael Miles Garrett is the card, I would say, on this list that plays better than his stats. Max is next, guys, and here he is. Max, well, he didn't have the best strength, but he does have a good finesse move. At least his power move hits the 85 there, so he gets good block shed. But this guy does not have hit power. He does not throw hit sticks. So keep that in mind if you're trying to get somebody to get you a turnover, because this guy's not going to fit that at all. So uh, edge threat, all that is trash. We've been through that. Um, his X Factor dual threat um it's nothing special so if you're looking for that to do something for you i would really save your time so let's keep it moving versus next guy and this guy can fly i wish his strength was a 90 and i wish his power move was a 90 it is not it kind of holds the card back you move him to right in and yes this guy here is going to be okay do i think he's overpriced yes do i think you need to go get him no do i think you need to put any these abilities absolutely not so let's keep it moving to the next Derek Thomas is here 90 power move he has good speed and excel why do I like him better than curse while well, his strength uh 90 strength is going to be the threshold you want you can move him wherever you want his traits are great so uh I like his traits a little bit better I like his strength because it is better and so yeah as start elite is complete trash please do not put it on him save your AP Instead of 4 AP on that, go put 4 AP on lurk artist, pick artist, stuff like that. Inside stuff is sweet. Put it on that. Don't put it on this guy. EasyMont.com. Use code Q. Get 10% off right now. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. 
Go get the team you want. Go have the fun you want. Go get the players you want. Now, Reggie White has better thresholds than Derek Thomas. That's why I got him higher. 90 finesse and 90 power move, 90 strength. There you go. This guy is going to hit more thresholds, and you can move him to right in. His traits are perfect, so that's why I got him higher on the list. I'm going by traits. I'm going by thresholds. And yes, if you have a gun to my head and you say, well, pick something, I pick double or nothing. Uh, but once again, I, was, I would not put anything on him. He'll be just fine by himself. Aaron Donald is still the king of pass rushers. He's going to be faster than White, and that's going to be basically your answer because he's going to hit the same thresholds, 90 strength, finesse, and power move. And yeah, I, you can move him to left end if you'd like. Uh, his traits are perfect, of course. So, with the X Factor here, the interior threat, aka zero AP, it gives him a little bit higher of a ceiling. Is it a big deal? No. But does he give you something that Reggie does give you with a zero AP? Yes. So, with that being said, Donald is number one. Up next, guys, we have the top 10 running backs, followed by the wide receiver. This is video one of three today. I'll see you in that video. Thank you for joining me in this. Be kind to everyone. Have a good day.